All right, so the first kitchen item you'll need is like every plastic container you can recycle. Yogurt, sour cream, cottage cheese, that kind of stuff. I use these all the time to hold resin as I'm changing the vat, changing the FEP. If I have a print failure and I need to dump out the resin for whatever reason, I use it to hold all of the little supports that I have laying around. So when I do need to do the vat clean process, I can just grab one out of there. They come in so handy for everything. Just make sure they're clean. Second one is a silicone spatula. This is a game changer for me for stirring resin in the vat between prints. Uh, if you use a resin that has a lot of pigments or uh, additives, things like that. You know, I use Sorytex Sculpt. It has a lot of um, like, I don't even know what they call it, stuff that uh, will settle to the bottom and separate if you leave it in the vat for uh, any length of time at all. So. Between prints, if I let the, the resin sit there for days, weeks, months, whatever, come in there, stir it up, silicon spatula is nice and soft. It's not gonna damage your FEP, but it's stiff enough to actually kind of pull that stuff up off the bottom. It's great. Third one, some silicone tipped tongs? Tongs? Not thongs. Yeah, that's a different video. Tongs, I guess. So I use these to move prints that haven't cured yet. Uh, sometimes I'll, I'll wash them off in the denatured alcohol. Uh, you can pull them out, set them on the bench to dry before you cure them. When I move to the cure chamber, I grab them with this. And again, you want them silicone so they don't scratch up the surface of your print. And uh, they're just great. I've cut down on the number of gloves I've used, like, dramatically. Just from using these thongs. Thongs. <laughs> Tongs. Bro, why can't I say that? Grabby things. Oh, I have a link to all of these down in the description. The, there's some on Amazon. I mean, you can pick these things up anywhere. Dollar store, estate sales, thrift store, whatever. Like, don't go crazy. But if you're looking for like kind of, oh, this is what he's talking about, links below. Fourth one, fourth one, fourth one, me. <laughs> fourth one is uh, some dishwasher gloves, dishwashing gloves. Make sure they're nitrile. But again, these are easy on and off. These kind of replace your regular nitrile gloves that you throw away after every use. So I use these when I'm taking these off the bill plate, moving them into the wash station. Um, if I leave them on, I'll move to the cure station if I don't want to use the, the tongs. And um, you can use them just over and over again when you move a resin print and you get resin on them, just kind of dunk your hands into the washing fluid, kind of wash them off a little bit. Uh, and they'll last you a long time. Again, dramatically cut down on the number of reusable gloves you use. The only time I really use nitrile gloves these days is if I have to do some work in the printer where I need a lot of dexterity, I'll throw those guys on um, to do that work. Oh, missed him, dang it. He was there, dude. He hit it, he missed it. Yeah, he missed it, I didn't miss him, let's be clear. Oh yeah, finally dude, finally. Tiny dude, finally get up to the place that I just like shoved past and get a fish. Little guy, but thank you bro. Fat paddle trailer, this is um, Mo Money No Problems color. Which is like a motor oil gold, kick ass color. A little dude liked it. Thanks, bro. That lure looks so good. I had to eat it. <laughs> and the fifth one is some towels, microfiber towels. I know that's a little stretch for the kitchen, but you know, any kind of cloth towels, I think will work pretty well. I use the microfiber so they don't uh, get a lot of uh, like fibers everywhere. And I use these to kind of clean up the big spills, the printer itself, things like that, where you don't want to necessarily go through a bunch of paper towels. The actual microfiber towels will um, soak up a lot more resin and you can put them outside in the sun. It'll cure up and then you can kind of keep using them for a very long time. Hope you guys found that useful. Take care, tight lines.
Bonus tip. Funnels, bro. You always need funnels. This is a metal one with a built-in filter. It's kind of dirty. That's this other resin. Whoops. So I'm just dumping the stuff out of the container. I just put it in. Then we get back in there filter. Getting a little bonus Soraya Tech blue nylon in there. It's cool, bro. It ain't enough to make a difference.